one and zero. A big hand clap. The expansion of Masindi Ami Barak's Health Center for a project, fully funded by Sino Hydro, will cater for about 2,500 patients, of whom 70% will be the local community and 30% Ami personnel. Uh, this uh, facility serves on the wrong highway where there are many accidents. So, accidents and emergency are one of the critical areas which will be addressed. And without full diagnostic capacity, X-ray and radio imaging, plus laboratory and the blood bank, uh, you cannot do much. Ladies and gentlemen, this beautiful health facility will indeed not only benefit the UPDF and their families, but the entire Masindi community, uh, as has always been our policy of providing free medical services to the neighboring income communities. The $1.5 million project implemented by Uganda Electricity Generation Company Limited will enable trained army medical staff offer services to residents of Masindi, Kiriandongo, and Nakasongola. In order to benefit the communities, that will be directly impacted by the construction of this electrical power infrastructure. The government of Uganda negotiated a corporate social responsibility component in the contract with Sino Hydro. The corporate social responsibility component would include the following. Two hospitals, and one of them is this, which I'm delivering today. Now the surgical ward is here. Then we have the theater, and that very important office called the mortuary, which is very feared, but very important. In the conceptualization of this project, uh, given there were two hospitals as part of the CSR project, uh, we felt one of the hospitals should go to the UPDF for the great service that they do for this country. Despite the tremendous work done by UPDF medical staff, the local community is still skeptical about the Army's intentions while administering health care. We have a war and we are going to have a big one. War does, does not involve bullets, missiles, no but war of psychology. Our civilians have refused to accept that we use the same medicines. For them, they are saying the medicine we use is specifically made for soldiers. The best thing we could do, I'm requesting the, the chief of medical services to let uh, UPDF doctors and nurses maybe try to bring in this, uh, the, the nurses of uh, the community and the doctors of the community to sensitize them within our facilities, maybe once a while, so that they see how we operate in our health centers. They see how we handle patients. The commissioning of the health center is part of the corporate social responsibility program implemented by the 600 megawatts Karuma hydropower plant management. Charlotte Amuge and Robin Yoso for UBC News.